2013 marks the 40th anniversary of the Emirates ATP rankings. And to celebrate this milestone, Dubai witnessed the launch of the ATP Heritage Campaign. Over the course of the year, this will recognize the rich history of the sport and the fact that only 16 players have ever attained the legendary status of finishing the year-end as ATP World Tour number one. We can give them a big round of applause. Novak Djokovic joining us, Roger Federer, and also ATP Executive Chairman and President Brad Druitt. Thank you for joining us today. I'm proud to represent the ATP World Tour as we launch the ATP Heritage Programme. We're kicking off 2013 with the 40th anniversary of the Emirates ATP rankings. Uh, it's a comprehensive program that will uh, not just be for 2013 but the years to come where we recognise uh, the amazing achievements of our players, player and tournament milestones as well as um, the rankings, the Emirates ATP rankings. Well I think it's, uh, it's something really nice that uh, the ATP has launched. Um, we can be very thankful, I think, to the ATP and you know, to all the players involved who have made this tour and uh, this sport so great. Um, I don't know if we thought 40 years back that we were going to end up somewhere here uh, with so many great stories to tell. Uh, but it's been a great and uh, lovely ride for the ATP and I think it's really nice looking back and celebrating those moments. And it pays respect to the great ones. And uh, we have many of them on the tour and uh, it's a privilege being part of that group. You know, just being a part of, um, of the elite members of, of number ones of the world is an incredible feeling and achievement and I'm, I'm very uh, uh, privileged and, and I'm really looking forward to the occasion that we will all celebrate in New York uh, later this year. The current year-end ATP World Tour number one is Novak Djokovic. Roger Federer has achieved this feat a staggering five times. It was one of the great achievements of my career. Um, I always uh, thought of the rankings every week, almost that I've been playing ever since on tour, because it's a, it's a very interesting uh, ranking system we have in tennis. Um, you're never safe, things can change extremely quickly, it's very volatile, and I think that's where it makes the year-end world number one ranking uh, as a very big deal, or just only becoming, let alone becoming world number one, it's a big deal. So that's where I think it's, uh, it's one of the hardest things to achieve in our sport. It was an amazing feeling. I mean, every every year is a different challenge, and uh, it took me a few years to really understand myself. And uh, you know, Feder and Nadal have been so dominant, and you know, making my life a little bit more difficult to get to number one. But uh, uh, you know, I had that big challenge that I needed to overcome, and uh, uh, now I'm I'm at the pinnacle of my career. I'm, I'm feeling that I'm playing the best tennis of my life, and I'm going to try to 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 stay there as much as I can. And the ATP Heritage Campaign will see a number of promotional initiatives throughout 2013, celebrating 40 years of the Emirates ATP rankings. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, all the news and gossip from the first ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event of the year in Indian Wells. And we get some quality time with Roger Federer as he plots another year of history making. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.